I can't remember ever wanting to be a fireman or a you know a cowboy or a or a, a policeman or I, I never really thought about anything other than uh, being an artist. <laughs> My name is David Michael Beck. My work is basically stylized realism, um, for the most part. Uh, the the uh, the animated stuff or the cartoon, if you will, um, that all has derived from my love of comic books and newspaper strips. Illustration is basically to sell a product or to um, illustrate a narrative uh, primarily. As opposed to um, my gallery work, uh, which I started uh, about five years ago after planning 30 years to do it, um, it's you pretty much do whatever you feel like doing and you hope for that sells to a gallery that was, is representing you. You're not really tied to anybody's criteria. Um, you're basically uh, going with uh, your heart's desire uh, and hope that it connects with an audience. Um, I had always been kind of scribbling around with stuff but never really uh, did much more than just stuff off the end of my brain. As I grew older and uh, was more engaged with my, with my artwork, um, it was just uh, like a, a natural thing that that's what exactly what I was going to do uh, with my life. I wanted to get into a total art school. Um, I didn't want to take English, I didn't want to take math. I, I wanted a total program and that pretty much uh, meant going to an art academy. So um, I did some research um, and uh, decided that I would like to try the American Academy of Art in Chicago. And then I finished up uh, my last two years at the Chicago Academy of Fine Arts, which was a few blocks away um, from uh, the American Academy. And I majored in animation because Walt Disney had graduated from there. And I, I figured if it was good enough for him, it was good enough for me. <laughs> I graduated in the middle of the year at the end of February, beginning of March of 72, and um, went out and hired a headhunter and got my first job uh, in a corporate in-house art department. And uh, there I was drawing on the, on the first day. Um, a lot of apprenticeships back in the day were uh, really didn't consist anything more of, you know, running errands for <laughs> the boss kind of a thing. And, and after I had worked so hard, I made up my mind that I was not going to run errands for anybody. I, I really needed to start my career, uh, you know, drawing. I was given $4,000 illustrations for $450, knowing that if I could connect with an audience, that I could work my way up. And so that's what I did. All of my work um, right now and has been for a very long time 
The finished color work all is derived from a finished black and white uh, uh, illustration. Because I, I really love working in black and white as much as I do uh, the color work. Uh, I have a whole body of, of, of work that is done specifically in black and white in, in different mediums. I get some criticism over the years, why do you do that much drawing under when you're just going to cover it up with paint? And the only thing I can, my only retort is, well that's why the art looks like it does because I've gone to that extreme to bring out uh, the, the, the essence of the artwork in the drawing stage. And, and actually, when, when I do that, it allows me to uh, go through the painting process with uh, a lot more confidence. Um, I make fewer mistakes. Uh, it, it, it's basically a roadmap to follow for a finished painting. I just have always wanted to keep ranging out and, and try different things. And, um, I mean, you know, crazy stuff like doing a wet-on-wet -wet technique and taking the, the artboard out to the driveway and driving my car over it, turning the wheel so I could chew up the surface and then bringing it back in and throwing more medium on it because you get some organic uh, response to that medium and that surface that you just can't possibly paint. And, uh, it, and then see where it goes, you know. Sometimes it, it works and sometimes it doesn't. But... Um, if you make it work, you look like a rock star. <laughs>